tonight, a controversial sign right outside a church in Pinellas County has some people doing a double take. It tells people if they're white, they have a special right. As you might imagine, that sign created a lot of controversy, some calling it racist and offensive. The sign has been taken down, but the pastor and her congregation are not backing away from the message. Paul Mueller live at the church in Pinellas Park tonight. All right, Paul, is this one of those lost in translation kind of problems, or is there more to this sign than meets the eye? You may have hit the nail right on the head there, Keith. You know, it depends upon who you ask. The sign only up for about three days. Look at it now. That is not the same sign. The pastor taking it down saying it just became too disruptive. And this sets us back way too much. This is what Stuart Flores is talking about. The church sign stirring up a whole lot of controversy. Why are we still separating ourselves? That's exactly why parishioners here, mostly white, have been studying race. And now the pastor says this is just one way, she says, to create racial equality. When you do see that you're being... Um, privileged in a way that others aren't simply on the basis of skin color. You can speak up and you can reject that privilege. The pastor says the message to start a much needed dialogue to bring everyone together. Uh, of course our hope is not divisiveness or, or hatred or judgment. But for many that message has brought out just that. That's kind of racist. Just Why? to think about it. Not everybody's white. What do you think? I think it doesn't make any difference if you're white, black, yellow, green, purple. You should just fight for justice anyways. While a few say the time for this sign has come. Our race is, does need to stand up for itself. Every other race does. So does it bring people together? Because once we're together, we can beat anyone. Or tear them apart. It doesn't matter that I, I'm red, I'm brown. It doesn't matter. We are all people. We're human. And once we start thinking... And... There is the sign, you're looking at it right there, that was there for three days. The pastor telling me tonight she received a whole lot of threats. Most of those threats, she says, came from people she referred to as white. Jen? Paul, this isn't the first time this church has created some controversy with its sign, right? I vaguely remember something happening before. That's right. You know what? Over the uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, weekend, the holiday, they had another sign up talking about white privilege. And we talked about that with a lot of people here in the community. And once again, they say the church just keeps on pushing the envelope. Jen. Paul Mueller, live in Pinellas Park. Thank you, Paul.